hometown it is Saturday and I just kind of came here on a whim just for the weekend so I want to do kind of like a vlog type thing a little bit um, today I want to tell you what I've eaten today because I forgot to film it but I woke up and I drank a ton of water and then I put a little bit of like two tiny little scoops of probiotics and some water and then I drank that and then a couple hours later I had some raspberries a little bit of blueberries and some mulberries and that's all I've had today. And then for lunch, I think I'm going to come home and make some sort of a beautiful salad or something, or maybe like a carrot, um, I call it carrot chutney, although that's not the right word. Carrot pate, that's the better word. And I will film what I eat for lunch. And then I'll probably just have a little bit of fruit for dinner or not eat dinner, because that's what I've, you guys know I've been doing that lately, where I just eat real light. So yeah, I'm in my hometown and it's going to be a good time. And Look you guys, so this is my parents' pool, and there's a duck in it. So, oh, there it goes! <laughs> oh my gosh, the things that happen. <laughs> okay, so my mom is making some cauliflower mashed potatoes, so what's in this, mom? So what's in this, mom? Cauliflower, like a head of cauliflower? A head of, no, half of a cauliflower. Half of a head of cauliflower. One Here's the juice. other head. Half. <laughs> Some lemon juice. What is this, rosemary? Maybe a half a teaspoon of cumin. Paprika? Uh, a shot of paprika, a shot of cayenne, and some rosemary. And that's all. Right. all. So we're going to blend this up. Let's put our faith in the natural way. Forget the chemicals and your pesticide spray. Educate yourself for the children of today. Food grown organic and pure will always be the number one cure. You'll all be grateful when you say no to GMO. Oh, yes, no to GMO. Looks delicious mashed potato comfort food. All right, let's That's do a all taste raw test. Vegan. We're gonna do a taste test. Give me a spoon. Oh, she's gonna feed it to me. Very interesting taste. It kind of does taste like mashed potatoes. That's crazy. Like I can kind of taste mashed potatoes in that. But I do want it thicker, so you can't put too much lemon. It's very thick to me. That's crazy! That tastes like potatoes and there's no potatoes in that. How do we make that taste better though? Look, it's got too much lemon. I think it's good. Please have half of it. I can't eat it all. Try it out, you guys. <laughs> hey guys! So I asked my mom to film me real quick. I'm making my lunch and this is a big old bowl of zoodles. So I'm spiralizing. This is my second zucchini. If you guys do not have one of these spiralizers, I mean, a ton of people have these, even when you're not in the raw community, people are really loving zoodles. But, I'm going to spiralize this, and when I finish doing that, in here I'm making my salad dressing. This is a mango, some chia seeds, I'm about to put some tahini, um, there's a little bit of red pepper in this, a little bit of cayenne, I have to put apple cider vinegar, and then whatever's left from spiralizing the zucchini because you get little pieces. I'm going to throw that in there, blend it up, and then I'm going to have zoodles. And then over there I have a head of butter like lettuce that I'm going to dip into the excess dressing. Okay, so you get that. But over here, this little container, if I can open it, see these little weird looking zucchinis? I'm gonna dump that in here just to use them. And then, yeah. So I'm adding some tahini in this right now. I added about two tablespoons. And now I'm going to blend it all up. I don't like to blend things too long, so that's it. So now, look at that creamy deliciousness. Now, I'm, is this clean? Yeah, it was yours. So now, 
gonna pour a little bit of this. Not much, that might have even been too much. So what I do is I just stir this up as if, it, if, as if I was cutting smell. it for a little kid. What's that scent? Is that the... That's the rosemary. We made something else earlier with rosemary and we can still smell it. I'll tell you what, those herbs are very effervescent. They are potent and wonderful. So look That's at this creamy deliciousness. Oh my god, I love it. I love cutting it real like that. Okay, so that is my uh, pasta. And then as you can see, I have more of this left. So I'm going to pour it in a bowl and dip it into this. Head of butterly lettuce. So that is my lunch. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday. I'm still in my hometown. And I'm getting ready to leave, but it is nine in the morning, and I thought, you know what? Before I leave, I'm gonna go to the trails in this little town, and I'm gonna, you know, go for a walk. And I hurt my knee yesterday. I ran, and I don't have a run, and I guess I hurt it, but I'm thinking that walking won't necessarily hurt it, so I'm hoping that that doesn't flare it up. But yeah, I'm going for a walk, and it's gonna be a really good day. It's like sunny and nice and beautiful, and yeah, so that is pretty much the end of my trip. It's been a really good time. Of course, I've still eaten raw. I've had a really good time with my family, and even when traveling and doing stuff, I always pre-plan, bring my raw foods, and yeah. It's just really fun and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching click like and subscribe and i'll see you later bye